long before whiskey and rum hit colonial dining tables, distilled apple brandy was America's favorite spirit. Throughout the 16th and 17th centuries, apple seeds were brought to North America by European settlers, and it didn't take long for a majority of farms to begin harvesting and distilling. By the late 1600s, apples were flourishing, and the apples that were available were cider apples, very bitter, very tart, very tannic. They actually were called spitters because you take a bite of the apple and spit it out. So there really was no use for the apple except to produce hard cider or cider spirits. In 1698, Alexander Laird emigrated from Scotland with his son William and settled in Monmouth County, New Jersey. Utilizing this abundant fruit and their distilling expertise, Laird & Company was born. Ten generations later, the Laird family is still producing this historic spirit, making them the oldest distillers in the country. The Laird family has been distilling apple brandy, apple jack, cider spirits, which are all synonymous, for over 300 years. My four greats grandfather, Robert Laird, along with his brother, Richard, were Revolutionary War Dragoons under the command of General George Washington. And also, George Washington had asked my ancestor on how to produce Applejack. You know, it's very well known now that George Washington was the largest distiller of his time. And not only was he producing whiskeys, but he was producing some cider spirits as well. It's been passed down through the family that we supplied the troops with Applejack, which I'm sure helped keep them warm. Throughout the following century, the production of Applejack soared and was being exported nationwide. During Prohibition, Laird & Company continued to produce non-alcoholic products until 1933, when they were granted a federal license to produce apple brandy for medicinal purposes. During Prohibition, Applejack was a very popular bootleg product. Post-prohibition, all of these little bootleggers went into legal production. There were 388 Applejack or cider distilleries in the state of New Jersey alone. So there was a huge demand for the product. We have Internal Revenue Bonded Warehouse number one, distilled spirits permit number one. Post-prohibition business was booming, so the Laird family acquired two additional distilleries in the early 1940s including the current site of all their production in North Garden, Virginia. Kind of brings us full circle with our history that we are distilling 100% of our apple brandy in this historic region. Right down the road, we have Thomas Jefferson's Monticello, James Monroe, James Madison, they're all very close, as well as George Washington. And those founders were enjoying our Applejack 300 years ago.